What's up, survivors? Welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Ascended on our official server playthrough. I'm Lulu, and this is my clan. Well, it's mostly just me, but there are a few other people that come on and jump on and play a little bit, but they haven't been on much, except for one. But anyways, so if you guys are new uh, to my channel, I do a little bit of uh, everything from uh, RPGs to survival games um, to MMOs, specifically Final Fantasy but um, I'm mostly a survival game channel, and that's what we do here. We play different types of survival games. I don't stick to just one game. I do like to bounce around a little bit, so my channel is usually full of lots of different content. But anyways, for you guys that have been watching casually in the background, um, this is a massive jump from the last episode. And what I mean by that is the last episode that I posted was when I tamed the two Thylas. Just to give you a timeline, I tamed those before the Christmas and Thanksgiving event. So there was a whole gap of footage that should be here of stuff that's happened in progression. Well, I made the executive decision because I was falling so far behind because I had got sick. If you guys don't remember, or if you are not aware, I got sick with COVID and the type A flu at the same time. Um, and that was through all of December. So I was, and I had a ton of footage that just kept getting backed up and backed up and backed up and backed up. And it eventually got to the point that I just felt like it wasn't really worth it. Now I could have done like a recap where I just took like all a hundred and something hours of footage that I had saved up during that time and jammed it down into a quick recap episode of what happened through all of December and most of January, actually uh, January, December of uh, December, January, sorry, <laughs> but I decided screw it. I don't care. I'm just going to trash it and just do it this way. So basically what happened is uh, we did a ton of taming. We got a ton of eggs. We did a lot of breeding, not a whole lot of breeding, but uh, <laughs> there is this over here. <laughs> and there's a bug back there, but that's not my only bug. That's actually my second bug. Yes, I now have two bugs. So um, this is going to be somewhat of a recap episode. Um, playing on official servers definitely is time consuming. So. Trying to find the right amount of footage and taking the t like it takes guys it literally takes me like almost a week sometimes two weeks to get enough footage for an episode depending on what i do okay um there's just been so much downtime and then you know i got i got pulled away by pow world yeah yeah i got pulled away by pow world um and i'm actually still playing it pretty hardcore we i actually uh we have a server uh for our community that uh was graciously uh put together for us and uh yeah so <laughs> there is that but um so a lot of things happen these guys are pretty stable now i've been working on them for about an hour but they still need to be watched a little bit but um to give you guys kind of a <laughs> of a uh, guideline uh, or an update really these are my egg fridges um this one has nothing in it uh, this one still has a bunch of other eggs in it that we need to hatch this one has a bunch of rgs that i'm working on for a line uh, these are all my Therizino babies, as well as some Baryonyxes and apparently a Megatherium. Oh, that's... The, okay, no, I have to get that back to somebody. I've got a bunch of Baryonyxes that I need to raise still. I have 70 babies in this refrigerator. Um, why do I have cryopods in there better? There we go. I don't have 70 babies. I have 45. We have Megalodons, Overraptors, Eutyrannuses, Deodons, Ankies, more Argies, um, Basilos. I have a breeding pair of Basilos. Um, one of them actually has uh, a mutation, if I remember. Yeah, this one has a 461 melee mutation. Um, I've got Snail Babies in here, more Argies. I have a row of Karka Babies that we need to raise. Um, yes, I now have Karkas. So, <laughs> yeah, we've been busy very busy lots of refrigerators with lots of stuff in it there's bill over here passed out probably drunk uh we got our deodons um we've got pigs that we're going to be using for hard snow cave because that's actually they're really good for hard snow cave um and then we have our baby bug over here um that is 40 percent right now uh we got five out of five on this one so it has a little over 6k health almost a thousand stamina um 1800 carry weight well with the imprint I think it was like 17 something and uh 293 melee i think it actually went up with the first imprint as well too 
Um, so yeah, that happened. Uh, we're doing lots of big metal runs. Those are my breeding pairs of carcas over there. The male is actually a statted male, not like really top tier stat. It's like 190 melee, so it's not like the 170 that people have. Um, and the female was a wild one. Um, I did do some trades for stuff. Uh, we did actually go and tame things. These are my Therizinos um, that I did trade for after I tamed. So we do have good Therizinos. This is a wild Rex. There's other stuff that's in cryo and things like that. But yeah, we're getting lots of things done. We're prepping now to start pushing for boss fights. So, and then there's the first bug that I got. This one is not nearly as good as um, the one I have now, but this is my starter bug. Yes, I hear you. This is probably the one I'll use on other maps. So, but yeah, uh, we got our blueprint vault. Uh, we haven't been really hitting a lot of caves, so we don't really have lots of good blueprints yet. Um, mostly just been doing surface drops. Um, saddle vault, our ammo vault. So lots of different things in here. Gear vault's pretty, pretty meh at the moment. Uh, this is a wood vault back there. No, that's a hide vault. Um, saddle vault. Oh, this one's paste, electronics, hard poly, silic pearls. This one's crystal and raw obsidian. So yeah, we've been getting stuff done. Um, trying to get some progression moving along. Like I said, guys, it takes a while. Um, this episode right now, guys, I'm probably going to mix and match up some uh, footage moving forward over the next week. So it's uh, going to be jumping around a lot moving forward from now on just because of everything. Server transfers should be opening the second week of February. It is now the 4th of February as of the recording of this intro. Um, by the end of this episode, it might be actually server transfers opening. I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, and then, of course, we can't forget that the center map should be coming out later this month. Um, the end of the month, hopefully, last week of the month. Oh, no, no, sorry, it's February. Um, March, should be coming out March, so next month. Excuse me, I have misinformation. All right, but uh, yeah, I gotta feed these guys real quick. So, because uh, walking around, gotta make sure that we're staying on top of it. Going first person, it's so much easier. You don't want these to die. So this side over here, these are all of our breeders. Um that we will be breeding yes they will they have they have the health and the melee some of them um have like most of them all well actually all of these guys have the health in the melee and as you can see our health is eight four and our melee is four three so um but we do have some mix match stats in here as you can see with all the levels and of course with all the different colors of a rainbow here before too long um, but the, the dark blue, the, the navy blue is our main line right now that we have where we have all the colors, but this guy right here, the 151, he actually has the health and the melee, but he has the low, the low food, the low oxygen, um, and the low stamina or something like that. Um, one of those, I think he has like two or three low stats. This guy is 171 and he has two or three low stats as well. So, yeah, we have really good male breeders to try to breed down the stats to get the levels down. Because if you didn't know, levels aren't everything because there is a level cap and that's 450, I believe, if I remember correctly. Um, so we want the levels down as much as possible, because if the levels go down, then that leaves more room for stat growth with mutations. And that's what you ultimately want sorry i got distracted there for a hot second there was a flash of light outside um it is the middle of the day it's like one o'clock but yeah so somebody's car drove by and it just the window reflected the sun off their car pretty well and it was just like meh but anyways i'm gonna have to go back to the refrigerator um i am doing this completely solo right now but hopefully once the center comes out we will be able to go over there Ooh, i'm glad i came to feed this one was getting low uh, he would have been fine for about 30 minutes without food. Um, the nanny dino will be coming out. And a lot of people were upset about the whole thing. So I want, I want to cover that real quick, guys. So I'm going to kind of explain to you guys what's going on with the um, 
the, the change in the community voted dinosaur. Everybody's getting upset saying like, hey, we voted for this. We want we wanted this. Why did you switch it? Well, the the there are two reasons why they switched it. OK, um, the first and foremost, the reason that they gave, which is a legitimate reason, is they're having some issues with the movement and the fluidness of it moving underwater because it's a submarine type creature. So that means that its saddle has to be able to have oxygen and it has to be able to move through the water without stuff falling out. Oop, forgot to mute my Discord. Sorry. They're having issues on the Power World server right now. Um, the guy who manages the maintenance for the server is overclocking it and get, he's setting it up so it runs better. Stuff like that. Um, but anyways, so <laughs> besides the point. Um, okay, so... Basically, they're having some technical difficulties with getting it to work correctly. So that was one reason. The second reason why they switched it is because if they're going to switch it, they're going to switch it to something that helps the community. And let's be honest here, guys. They're, if you play single player and you're complaining, get over it. But people on official servers, you see what I'm doing right now? Going through feeding all these fucking babies. <laughs> Having the nanny creature will change. It will it will make this small tribes like us or even small clans on like official like on PVP servers will be able to breed and keep up with the bigger clans. Yes, the bigger clans will still be able to do it faster. Yes, yes. But this will give an advantage on the PVP side for smaller clans to be able to breed as well as on official PVE where most solo players end up is on official pve okay this will allow us to be able to still do the game and breed without having to worry about doing this for four or five hours or eight hours or 20 hours okay this will allow us to keep progressing and it'll, it'll increase our progression so yes the main reason is they're having some issues with the movement in the saddle because it is a submarine type creature but it's also because you know with that if they're going to change it instead of just pushing it out half-assed because you know everybody complains why didn't you fix it before you put it out well they're trying to do that and people are still complaining so shut up <laughs> that's my two cents on that matter um if they're going to do that they're going to switch it to something that benefits the community and that's what they're doing so yes they're trying to give themselves more time to fix the saddle while also giving the community something that will help us. And the Nanny Dino will help us, okay? Plus, let's be honest here, guys. The center map water might be large, but it doesn't hold a candle to Ragnarok. So the submarine creature will be more beneficial on Ragnarok. And having the Nanny creature on the center map will just make the center map more popular because the people will go there to get it, okay? Let's be honest. Let's, let's be honest here for a minute. That was a good move in itself. Because I was always like, on the center, the center water is not really that large. Like, it's large. Don't get me wrong. It's deep. But there's really not a lot of it. Unless they've changed the map drastically with Ascension. But Ragnarok is a whole different beast. There is probably five times more water on Ragnarok than there is on the center. That submarine creature will be more valuable there. But anyways, that's, that's no here nor there. But yeah, so this is going to be my life for the next four hours, at least for this stuff. I might throw out my Therizinos, or hell, I might even throw out my Mega, my Karkas and try to get them up a couple of percentages. Um, but yeah, so this will be my life for the next four hours, guys. <sighs> I will bring you guys back probably either, I don't know, we'll see. Wherever the next clip takes us, because that's how official has been lately. All right. Time jump. All right, bringing you guys back for a little bit of an update. It is uh, later in the evening. I'm getting ready to wrap it up for today, uh, for this day. But this ain't the end of the episode, obviously. Um, the Megatheriums are now pushing about 17%, roughly between 17% and 18%, I think. Yeah. Um, oh, I think I missed one. Yep, we missed one. Um, so they all have one imprint left after this. Um, with the times two, uh, they get imprint 50% uh, bonus imprint. So it only takes two imprints between about eight hours. So this is their first imprint right here. Um, so you see 50%. So they get their first one. Um, 
and then I will do another imprint. It's getting late. It's already going on like nine o'clock, uh, 930 actually. Uh, these are all the breeders. I'm not going to imprint these guys. I'm just going to leave them out. Um, I just filled up all the troughs. We have six troughs full of berries. Um, it took them about eight hours to kill the first six troughs. Um, and of course that was when they were still, uh, 10%. So yeah, it took them a little while. Um, obviously there's no way I'm keeping these things out all night cause they'll, there's no way they'll survive. Um, I've got the Baryonyxes. They're coming up on their first imprint. They should get a hundred percent. So we'll get all of these guys imprinted except for the female breeder and the male, uh, breeders. Uh, so these three, that one there, that one, and this one, cave one, two, and three. Uh, I pulled out my pigs, got them up. So we've got them raising right here. They're eating off that trough. Uh, I got to do a fish run for these guys here. And I pulled out the frogs. They are over here. So we've got our frogs. I pulled them out and started raising them up. It only took like an hour and change for them to get to 10%. So they're doing pretty good. Uh, they have a trough right here that's got cooked meat and a trough over here that has uncooked meat. Um, and I do have all these troughs linked. So the these two troughs can only be only the frogs are capable of eating out of these two troughs. Um, well, if the other ones over there were capable of doing it, but they're too far away. Same thing inside. Um, only these two, these three troughs are linked to the Deodons. And these three troughs are linked to the Baryonyxes. So only they will eat out of them. So I don't have to worry about other stuff causing problems. And then over here, <clears throat> this trough right here is linked to my uh, Rhinonathus. And these six troughs are linked to the, only to the Megatheriums. Um, now this trough, I did have linked to the Rhinonathus, but I'm thinking about making it into a seventh berry trough. Um, I can do about three troughs of berries every 15 minutes because I just fly over to my Bronto that's right there about 1400 meters away it's over just outside the snow in the big bushy area of trees so that's where I go to get my berries and then I just fly back on my Rhino that's supposed to be right here it's there because it's pushing me back I'm rubber banding it's somewhere so See if I can whistle it out. Yeah, I'm running into it right now. It's glitched. Not underneath of it now, are you? Yeah. Probably way up in the sky somewhere. Maybe if I move the raft. There we go. <laughs> as soon as I got on the raft. So this is my first Rhino that's actually already been leveled a lot already. It's uh, 178, got a little over 5k carry weight. I pumped up its stamina. Originally only had about 400 stamina. I haven't put anything into health or melee. So this is my first one. It's a lot weaker than the one we have raising right now. The one we have raising right now um, already has way better carry weight, way better stamina, way better health, and way better melee. And that was before it was imprinted. So, yep. We're going to get ourselves another one going um, and then I'll probably keep that one on here on the home server and this one will probably come with me when we travel for server transfers. So yeah, but yeah, we're going to, that's what's been happening so far. This was just day one of our new setup, uh, kind of running you guys through everything that we got going on. We're hoping to get the bosses moving along here soon. Um, uh, go from there because i really want to try to get bosses open before scorched comes out i don't think i'm going to get them all done before the center uh, but i definitely want to get all the bosses done before scorched uh, because honestly we could go to the center and do the methopithecus and uh, alpha metha alpha broodmother because it is way easier to do on the center map so because you don't have all the little spiders so you could just go in there with an army of like rexes or therizinos and easily kill the two alphas um, they are actually like normally they're about 30% weaker. So <clears throat> I should probably check the Jenny. I'm gonna check this one in a while. Okay, it's got about two weeks left. I like that they did that. That's one of my favorite things. You can see the how long they last and the fact that gas generators last a month, a little over a month now, which is nice. 
But anyways, all right, we're going to do another time jump. Um, I'll probably bring you guys back. Uh, I don't know when, probably. It's obviously going to be the next day or the next day or two. Um, most of these should be fully raised or close to being fully raised when I bring you guys back again. Because uh, that is uh, the situation that we are playing with on official servers. Um, I'm in the phases of raising stuff, and we've got to start doing caves and start doing boss fights and start getting ready because I really really want to go to uh to the center map and get the new nanny creature so we can start raising things more efficiently um and then of course when scorched earth drops i'm excited for the uh crab mountain creature i forget what they called it i i remembered i remembered at one point what they called it but i forgot what they called it but i can't wait for the dlc creature i'm excited for that having a nice big floating island creature it's gonna be awesome but anyways all right time jump All right, so it's been about a day and a half since the last time uh, we talked, we spoke, we had partings of great time jumps. Yeah, so <laughs> um, it is uh, technically the 8th of February um, right now, and uh, we're supposed to be getting server transfers as well as the framework for the new customized customization and glamour slash mod implement crap stuff that they're supposed to be putting on official servers which i'm actually really excited for um so yeah there's that uh so a few things have happened um well nothing nothing okay okay let me rephrase that nothing great has happened really to be completely honest um my frogs and baryonyxes and deodons finished i accidentally left my deodons out so they only got half imprint but uh that's okay that's fine um, the, uh, Valentine's Day event was announced for February 20th, I think they said. Yeah, we'll see if that happens. Um, <laughs> I've got all my breeder megatheriums out right now, as you guys can see. They're all nice and neatly lined up. Uh, they're going through about three troughs every four hours, which is actually not too bad. So, about uh six troughs should last them roughly seven to eight hours um which is actually pretty good um and then they get about 10 percent every eight hours on their growth so it is actually 12 o'clock right now so i should be able to get them about 15 percent today before i have to put them in cryo um or i could just fill up all their troughs and leave them out overnight because uh none of these guys are getting imprinted they're these are just my breeders uh once they get to about maybe 65 70 percent i'll pull out the other ones so probably in about a day or so i'll pull out all my battle ones and then start getting them up the rest of the way because these guys should be eating very little by then um my bug is almost done about six percent left to go it is 100 percent imprinted and it's a beast it's a really nice bug i uh, kind of wish i would have got a little bit better carry weight but unfortunately i only have 37 point carry weight brontos so that's all I was able to get was the 17 or 18 uh, hundred that it started with. <clears throat> but it's got really good health and stamina. Or really good health and uh, melee. Stamina is a little low, but that's okay. Um, it's mostly going to be for carry weight purposes. And it's going to be way better than our starter bug, which is right here. Uh, which has already been leveled up quite a lot. But uh, it's already going to be way better, which is really nice um i'm incubating some more giga eggs karka eggs sorry excuse me nobody fucking cares about gigas anymore unless you're pvp um because karkas are better for pve um because if you're just doing meat runs or you're just doing big circuits uh karkas are way better um i've got another batch of therizino eggs that i need to hatch uh because we're going to be raising all 50 of our therizinos um i'm probably not gonna wait until um the valentine's day event to do the theories i'll probably start the battle ones um probably in a couple of days um but we are going to be raising all of our carcas i'm hoping to have at least two rows of baby carcas to raise during valentine's um so i've got three more eggs down right now this one's got about a little under a day that's got a couple of hours and this one's got about a day um so that's happened we have all these theories. I've got about another two rows of theories in here to hatch. Um, more eggs coming later. Um, not really worried about those. 
so yeah not a whole lot has happened so far guys uh, like i said this is mostly a recap episode slash kind of uh just letting you guys know that uh depending on what i do for the week uh i'll probably just be putting out at one episode a week for official servers um until there's more content uh because there's really not that much to do right now besides go out and maybe tame some new stuff now i do want to try to get myself some mozas uh, because i do need better uh fish meat runners um because i did lose my squid i took it into a cave and got it killed yes i know i'm stupid i shouldn't have taken it in there i knew better um like i knew better and i still did it um because i do want to start getting bosses my goal is to have at least uh most of the uh the beta if not the alpha boss is dead before the center comes out let me scroll in here real quick the slow way so before the center map comes out um which is supposed to be uh mid month mid to late next month so we've got we've got about four to six weeks maybe <laughs> maybe we'll see but uh yeah so there there was something else i wanted to address here real quick so you guys now obviously by the time this comes out things might have changed by the time this episode is out because this is the eighth and there's been a lot of people going around talking about how Ark Survival Ascended is dead. Okay, that's a little drastic, all right? Yes, the population has dropped down to about 10,000 for downtime, okay? For the, like, the slow hours. That's not dead. That is low, but not dead, okay? Yes, it is a huge difference between that and 80,000. But you guys have to remember that a lot of those... A lot of those act a lot of those active time hours where people were posting you know oh you know arcs you know prime time hours and they were like showing like 45,000 and 60,000 70,000 people online or 100,000 online those were taken during prime time hours like between 3 and 7 p.m eastern time okay that's when you know kids and kids are out of school some people are home from work for at least you know us time and then your european player base they're already all home they're all they're getting ready for bed for the night or they're up staying late and still playing video games you got your asian uh you know your asian clans however you want to refer to them as <laughs> they're they're all you know up really really late or they're just getting up and they got the day off so those are your prime time hours so when you see it when you when you get on at like th like four five six o'clock in the morning eastern time the numbers are going to be low and then you justifying the population of arc survival ascended based off of that time frame which is the most inactive time part of the game between three and six a.m is well, for a back of lever turn, fuck it. You're an idiot. <laughs> that doesn't mean the game is dead. That just means you took a screenshot of the Steam player base during its downtime. Let's also point out another big elephant in the room. Every single survival game took a massive hit to their population two weeks ago. Um, Power World and Enshrouded dropped. And don't forget, between the two of them alone, they're pulling in about 25 million players. Most of them Ark players and Conan players that are just sick and tired of playing Ark and Conan because it's the same old shit right now. There's no content on Ascension as of right now because server transfers aren't open as of my conversation at this moment. And there's no additional maps. So the, everybody's either going back to Evolve to go do PvP or PvE content for fun, or they're playing Power World or Enshrouded because they're new survival games. That doesn't mean Ark is dead. That means that it's downtime. It's just downtime. Okay? Ark's not going to die that easily. Buy me another dino survival game. Like, Ark is like Pokemon. You can't kill Pokemon. You just, you can't, okay? You can't kill Pokemon. <laughs> Power World's gonna try, but Pokemon's just too big. The Pokemon company's too big. That is Ark, okay? On a much smaller scale, of course. And mind you guys, on a much smaller scale. That is Ark, okay? Ark is in a very unique position. There is no competition. For a building, crafting, taming survival game, 
like Ark, there is no competition. They've tried. There have been multiple clones that have all failed. <laughs> okay. Hell, even Ark themselves tried to make an additional game of it, and it failed. Okay. You just... <laughs> even their own game failed. <laughs> okay. The Atlas. Hello. <laughs> so, <laughs> let's just keep in mind here. Yes, it's downtime. Once the center and Scorched Earth come out and server transfers have been opened and there's more content and PvP is like going full blast and people are having fun again, that's you're going to see a massive increase in the population again. They're going to come back. They always do. No ARC player who is truly an ARC player gives up on ARC. That just doesn't happen. Okay, it just doesn't doesn't happen. I've walked away from this game 20 times and I've always come back. Why? Because it is a very unique experience to survival. You cannot get anywhere else. If I go play Enshrouded, it's like playing Valheim. If I go play Conan, it's like, well, playing Conan. I guess Conan's in a unique position too, because I haven't run to another survival game like that. If I go play seven days to die there's about 20 other zombie games that are similar to seven days to die it's my point is that arc is a very unique survival game that's it's gonna go through its ups and downs and the fact that server transfers aren't open the fact that there's a very huge lack of content right now and for the people complaining about server stability what the what, what what's server stability i am running around literally lag free I can walk up to a trough. This is on an official fucking server, too. I can walk up to this trough. And look at that. What, what's so unstability about that? That is almost instant for every single one of those. Where's the, where's the, the lag and unstability? There are 30-something people on my line right now. The servers have never been better. So, lies. <laughs> yes if your machine is a piece of shit you can't blame the game for that <laughs> but anyways uh, i had to vent a little bit i'm sorry i'm i i will be the first to admit that arc does have its problems okay I, I'm not excluding the fact that they tell us one thing and then they do another thing and they push back dates and they constantly have issues every time they do a patch. But what game doesn't? I mean, Power World just had an issue that nobody even realized. They fix they fixed the the issue where you would do a reset potion for your stats. And you had this one thing that there was a debuff for something else or an increase for something else with the capture effect. And the second they fixed that, they added a bug into the game that basically made it impossible to capture creatures at high percentages. I mean, every game has bugs. And it was we were stuck with that capture bug for like five days, which really isn't that long. But the point is, it happens. Okay, guys? It happens. So... Um, yes, Ark has its issues, but it's not nearly as bad as it used to be. So, I'm sticking with it. I'm just playing casually. I mean, I'm even going to play with this Prolovia. Of course, I'm going to let him... Come on, dum-dum. See? We played and he fell down and took a nap. So. <laughs> Useless turret. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's not set up to shoot up Perlovia. So, yes. Guys, Ark Survival Ascended is currently in its down phase. But as server transfers open, PvP will pick back up. The population will pick back up. Um, as soon as the center comes out, you know damn well the game's going to pick back up because all the, the new creature, as well as having the center map, which is a fan favorite of a lot of uh, a lot of OG players. Um, and then the new nanny creature, which is going to make soloing on PvE so much easier since you won't have to sit around and hand feed babies for fucking hours on end. It's going to be nice. But anyways, all right, so I'm just going to jump ahead to the next, the next scene now, wherever it takes me for today's episode. Sorry, I had to vent there for a minute, though, but I had to play devil's advocate a little bit, okay? I had to play devil's advocate a little bit because Ark is not that bad. People are just upset 
because they were promised something and they didn't get delivered. So they're taking it out on them. And then on top of that, everybody's got a fun new game to play, which I'm guilty of playing too. I've spent over 130 hours on Pow World already, which isn't a lot for two weeks, but well, actually that is a lot for two weeks, but it's not, a, it's not as many as some people. So yes, even I've been pulled away. Like I spent a good, the good better part of the last week of December and the first week of February, well, last week of January and the first week of February playing Pow World. I mean, you can look at my channel. I've been playing Pow World. <laughs> <laughs> been having a lot of fun with it too i've also been playing enshrouded again it's pulled me away from arc new games do that and then myth of empires launches soon i'll be playing that hardcore too i'm excited for that there's just lots of stuff to play right now it is a very 20 early 2024 is a very heavy saturated survival game drop time there's just a lot of survival games out right now a lot of new ones and a lot of old ones okay so there's going to be a lot of diversity and a lot of people are going to be spreading out more often a little bit until they find a game that they really like to play the most and i'll still be here playing arc because arc is a long-term progression game i can pick it up and put it down and play for a few hours you know a day here and there or a few hours every week and just get some progression done and go play other stuff i don't have to feel attached to it it only becomes a job if you make it a job but anyways, all right, I'm going to jump to the next scene, guys. All right, so it's been about another day, day and a half. Um, the breeders are done. I got them over here. They're actually uh, set up to, they're already bred, actually. Uh, we are on a times three weekend because they gave us a little bit of a bonus. Because they fudged up. So <laughs> I've got my breeders all set up. We have 12 female megatheriums and then my one male. And then over here, my uh, my battle ones are just about done. Uh, they're like 92, 93%, something like that. 92, 93%, yeah. 93, 93, yeah, they're pretty much all the same, I think. 93, yep. And then I've got some more Karkar eggs down that are uh, finishing up at the moment. Uh, some of them have like an hour. I think most of them have an hour. There's actually three of them merged together right there. Uh, I've got my little wall up right here. Um, I do want to do something though real quick. Uh, I need to kill myself real fast. I need to test something. Yep, no. Yeah, I was testing to see if one of the new mods was working and it's not working. I still don't have access to the hats for some reason. Um, but yeah, not that I really care about all the hats. I just found that pretty funny. Oh, you can't drop these? Or is the server lagging? Meh, who knows? So yeah, wanted to test that out real quick. But, uh, yep. So, um, you got like all the comfy pillow, comfy mug, cozy stuff like this. There were supposed to be like hats or something for here, but I'm not entirely sure why it's not working correctly. Um, I don't know. Maybe I just don't understand how the hat part of the mod works, but it's just not working. So, yeah, um, we're going to be throwing out the Therizinos today and possibly getting the car cars to at least 10% um, before the event ends and then probably finish them off during the Valentine's event. So I got this egg right here that's got six and a half. This one's got an hour. This one's got a little under an hour. And there's actually three of them merged together right here. They're all in the same timer, so they have a half hour. Um, and then they will be raised, if they've got the right melee, they'll be raised alongside this row of carks right here. Um, and then I'm going to throw out the rest of these. So it's going to be a little bit of a busy weekend. I'm kind of, I'm a little upset, to be completely honest. I wasn't. I was kind of hoping they weren't going to do an Evo event this weekend because I wanted to get some stuff done on other games <laughs> and I've got some editing I got to finish for other games and I'm just not getting, I'm just not getting it done. Uh, this Evo event kind of uh, screwed me over from being able to focus on some stuff that I wanted to focus on, but uh, it's whatever. Um, we'll, we'll knock out some more breeding and then we'll take a break and focus on, you know, things like Power World and, and Shrouded and things like that. So if you're, Somebody who's specifically looking for that content. Um, unfortunately, 
uh, the weekend of the uh, the 10th slash 9th and 11th, I will not be doing any. Is that a ring drop? It is a ring drop. Um, so, yeah. Oh, my other bug finished. I don't know, think I showed you guys that. So, it finished, and it's actually way better. So, as you can see right here, this has actually already been leveled up. Um, I put only points into uh, into carry weight, and it's got uh, 5,600 carry weight. Um, I might put, like, one or two levels into stamina to get to 1k for shits and giggles, but that's about it. Um, yeah, so I plan on running a couple of caves. I'm going to be running... Um, uh, the underwater cave easy underwater at some point here soon um, I want to knock that out uh, I'm gonna be making a bunch of cryopods and yeah but that's that's pretty much everything for this week guys um, so it's been kind of like just a, a slow mishmash of just getting stuff done um, maybe I'll do an episode where we just do caves for the day I'll probably do that maybe next week or something but uh while we're doing some stuff in the background to get ready for uh, the center map, which should be coming out hopefully within a few weeks. Um, I think it either comes out the end of February or early March. I'm pretty sure it comes out the end of February because Scorched Earth comes out in March. Don't quote me on that. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching today. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that likes up button and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Like I said, I will be doing weekly uploads of arc because there's just not enough content and stuff happening right now unless i find something else to do um i mean i still have other caves to run and bosses to do and more builds to do but for the most part you guys are all loud um <laughs> for the most part it's just going through the motions um i do have like one or two uh members that will be joining me so we should be able to pick things up here soon um and then i do have another friend on the server who uh, will be teaming up with us when we also go to the center and Scorch. So things should start happening more quicker because uh, I won't be by myself anymore. Um, and yeah, but other than that, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later. Peace.